the Nakai, a hostile and technologically advanced race of beings who dwell in a distant galaxy. Upon discovering the ancient deep space exploratory vessel Destiny, the Nakai made it their mission to gain access to the ship, presumably to discover its secrets. Their first contact with humans would lead to a tense relationship with the reluctant crew from Earth. The Nakai is the as-yet non-canonical name which the producers of Stargate Universe intended to give the blue aliens encountered by Destiny. They are one of the few spacefaring races encountered by the ship's crew, as the vessel traveled from one galaxy to the next on a course programmed by the ancients countless millennia ago. In appearance, the Nakai are fish-like, but bipedal. They are tall and slender, with large, hairless craniums and translucent blue skin. Their feet are digitigrade, likely making them light and quick-moving. Their craniums and their lidless eyes appear to display some form of bioluminescence. They have small, sharp teeth and a pair of tendrils that hang from each cheek. Their vocalizations are entirely unlike humanoid speech. Sometime before the human crew arrived on the ship, when Destiny passed into the Nakai's territory, they took an interest in the ancient vessel. They tagged the ship so that they could track it through FTL, pursuing it even across multiple galaxies, perhaps to study its technology, perhaps out of an interest in its mission. However, although they have the ability to breach the hull, Destiny's automated defenses prevented them from boarding the ship and taking control of it. The Nakai are a highly intelligent species, with ships capable of intergalactic travel and armed with formidable weapons. Their brains are compatible with ancient communication stones, allowing Colonel Everett Young to inadvertently trade bodies with a member of their species that had come upon a stone in the possession of Dr. Nicholas Rush. They have expertise in xenobiology, at one point capturing both Chloe Armstrong and Dr. Rush and holding them for study. A device attached to their subject's temple allows for telepathic interrogation, even enough for the Nakai to learn some English. When they confronted Destiny directly, they responded to the human's hail with a single English word, surrender. Rush returned from the experience with some emotional scars, as well as an alien tracking device surgically implanted in his chest. But Chloe was more profoundly affected. The aliens infected her with some sort of biological technology, which lay dormant in her system for several months. As it awakened, it began to transform her on a cellular level, affecting her first mentally and then physically. Chloe took to advanced mathematics and found that she could intuitively operate Destiny's control systems, using it to her advantage to calculate a new FTL course and rescue Dr. Rush. She also became unnaturally strong, her body began to transform, developing blue growths on her skin. Following her encounter with the Nakai, Chloe also began to experience blackouts, during which other members of the crew would find her, evidently at work in different parts of the ship. As her behavior became more and more erratic, Colonel Young and others deemed her to be a potential threat, compromised by whatever the aliens had done to her. It is not known if she was executing their direct orders, as a sleeper agent inside the corridors of Destiny. But whatever alien influence she was under appeared to be studying the ship. Eventually, Chloe knew that she had to return to the aliens that had done this to her. She accessed a control terminal and sent a signal. When Destiny was confronted by a Nakai ship, she allowed herself to be handed over to them. The Nakai conducted a further surgical procedure on her, evidently retrieving what they needed and healing her of her condition before returning her home. The Nakai's ultimate goals remain a mystery. It is not known whether they are outright hostile toward the humans living aboard Destiny or only regard them as a potential impediment to their objective. Now that they have what they wanted from Chloe, they may be temporarily content to allow Destiny to go on its way. Or it may be only the first step in a long-term plan to take the ship and its secrets for themselves. For more people, places, and things from the Stargate universe, visit StargateOmnipedia.com. If you want to support GateWorld on YouTube, like this video and leave a comment. Check out this playlist for more videos from the Stargate Omnipedia.